Today we're going to be working on the 2003 AP Stat test, Form B. And in problem number one, we are presented with a question on linear regression. So we are presented with two linear regression. This one with the P value right here, which is represented by this dot. And on the second linear regression model, we are presented this result. And this time, the P was taken out of the... Uh, uh, linear regression. And for letter B, we are given another set of data set without the result. But now, instead of P, which is right here at the corner, the data set that was given to us is Q, which is now right here at the lower right corner of your data set. So for problem letter A, we are asked to see if point P has a large influence in the regression line. So this is point P, and when they took out point P, they produced a new linear regression output, and we're going to uh, write out our justification as to how influential that point is. So in this particular problem, we can start by writing out the uh, linear regression, or the y hat for the previous LSRL with P and the Y hat with out the P. So this is going to be coming from this table over here. We can also um, see the difference between their correlation, correlation coefficient, coefficient because the correlation coefficient can show you the direction and the strength of the relationship between the two data sets. So let's go ahead and answer problem letter A. For problem letter A, Let's write out the y hat for the linear regression with p in it. So for our li um, linear regression, given this value, this will be the value of our y-intercept, and this is the value of our slope. So using y hat equals a plus bx, our linear regression with the point P in the linear model will be y hat equal to a, which is 8.107 plus 0.4919 x, which is our slope. And also we can write out our correlation coefficient, which is the square root of r squared over here, which is given by 47.6%. So we can write it out as 0.476. Um, and using our calculator, 0.476 square root of 0.476 is going to give us 0 0.689. 0 0.689. Nine, or about 70%. And for the other linear mod model without the P, the Y hat is going to be our A will 11.123 plus 0 0.150 as our X. And our correlation coefficient, which is square root of 0 0.025, is approximately equal to 0 0.1581. So with this, we'll be able to construct our uh, um, answer on the influence of point P in our linear model. So you will notice that when it comes to the correlation coefficient, we have a stronger um, correlation for our uh, relationship with P. And without the P, our correlation coefficient becomes less strong at 0.158. So we can include that in our answer in a little while. And also, if we're going to look at the two linear model, in the first one, where when the P is still in the list, we are seeing that the y-intercepts 
is at 8, and without the p, the y-intercept is 11.123. So we can argue that the y-intercept um, went up without the presence of uh, p in our linear model. And also the slope from 0.49 it's now down to 0.15, so we can also include that in our answer. So let's go ahead and write our answer for letter A in terms of the slope and the y-intercept and in terms of the correlation coefficient. And this is how we're going to justify the uh, large influence on the re regression line or the linear model with, without the point P in our linear model. In letter B, we have a different situation because now there was an error on our data set or it showed us an error because instead of that data, which was here a while ago, now the point went down over here. And from here, we are supposed to, or we're asked to explain how the LSRL um, for the correlated data, which is this data, would differ from the LSRL from the previous uh, linear model when this point was still here. So by just observation, we know that when the point was over here, we can say that the line is positive and it's evident on the slope of the line from our original LSRL. However, with an error when that particular point is supposed to be at this particular corner of the dot, we'll see or we'll notice that the line or the orientation of the line could change from going up or a positive slope to going down or a negative slope. So we can write out our observation by um, showing the difference on the direction of uh, your association based on the presence of Q down here as opposed to being up here. So to write it out, and this is how our um, change will appear in our interpretation based on the error that happened in the problem letter B.